What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Today we are going to do this look. Basic but cool and edgy and like trending. But you can like actually play around with it and like manipulate it and turn it into your own. You know what I'm saying? Hella highlight though. Hella contour though. Lip. Not to like say anything. It's there. Made up with a Smurf real quick. Brows and that's about it. Everything else super simple, super clean. This is a look that you can totally manipulate. Like I did blue. I was trying out Makeup Forever's new Rouge line. Their lipstick C603. I was also trying out Estee Edit Eyeshadow Compact. I did like this blue green. You can definitely do purple, red, pink, nude if you want to go like really high fashion and avant-garde. Totally up to you, mama and papa. Totally up to you. You can also add a lash. I mean, I didn't, but you can if you want. That's what you want. Do what you want, girl. Do what you want. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, let's get to it. Bam. First things first, brows. I like to lay down the wax first on my brows from the Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics, and then I go in with the darker and lighter shades to give a nice gradient effect. And then I outline my brows with concealer, y'all have seen it, and then of course going in to conceal all my blemishes with the Kevin Aquan Skin Corrector. Next, after concealing all of my blemishes, I'm going to go in with the same foundation and mix it with the Skin Sunflower Oil from Milk Makeup and go in with a dual fiber brush. And then using concealer, my full coverage concealer from Makeup Forever, and a Royal and Langnickel flat brush, I'm just outlining the basic areas of where I'll be highlighting and then blending in with my beauty blender. And then right here I'm doing a little bit of reverse contouring and baking using Airspun powder and my beauty blender and then wherever the powder is right above that I'm going to start contouring this is usually what I use as a guide on myself and first I draw down the base of my contour and then I start fading it out and of course I'm using AJ Crimson cream foundation for my contouring below the lip above the five head you know what i'm saying a little five head cover it up real quick and then i'm blending that dark color into my hair first i just like to lay down the foundation of where i'm putting down the contour colors and then i go in and blend afterwards mm -hmm, get all up in there girl mm -mm -mm. and then contouring the bone structure of my eyelids and then blend everything in with a dual fiber brush. This one is from Sephora. We're just getting rid of the dark, harsh lines. And then dusting away all of the excess powder with a big, big fluffy brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. Bam, mm-hmm. A little bit of that milk oil and a little bit of my highlight from NYX. And make it rain, girl, make it rain. I'm mixing that on my fan brush. And I'm just going to pop that highlight right back on. I also used a little bit of the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick. I wanted more of a pop. The Milk one gave me more pigment. I also hit my brow bone with it to give highlight when I turn my face. And a little bit on my nose. A little bit above my brow where the sun hits. And we're done. Bam. Mm. Here I'm taking my Royal and Langnickel lip brush and I'm making a little mustache. Just kidding. I'm outlining my lips with the color. The brush allows for more precise application. And as I'm letting that settle in, I'm going to my eyes and I'm taking my same brow color and deepening my crease. I'm keeping this look very monochromatic so I'm not adding in other colors. I want everything to be very simple. I'm also taking this eyeshadow pot from Estee Lauder. This is their teal color. And I'm just using the powder from this one. I love this powder because it gives a little metallic feel. Definitely flirts with the holographic effect. 
and then I'm going to go in with some mascara here I'm using Molly mascara I got this from the December Allure Beauty Box so now I really ended up liking this mascara it had a really light formula so it didn't weigh my eyelashes down at all taking some Vaseline for the high gloss effect on my eyelids I'm going to apply first and then dab in with my fingers so that the product melts and I get that nice glossy effect that I'm going for oh oh we got it mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. And you are done. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more makeup looks and silliness from yours truly. Sup, Shelby? How you doing? Call me. Blueberry Daddy.